Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Saturday the 2nd of October with a 3pm kickoff as the Borough take on Hull City in the Scarbeck Championship at the MKM Stadium. Well Borough fans, finally, it's win number three of the season um, and can we come at a more stressful time after two frustrating defeats. Uh, we finally got that 2-0 uh, win against Sheffield United in midweek at the Riverside. Um, I wasn't expecting much because obviously uh, prior to this game Sheffield United were unbeaten in the last uh, five or six games but I think we just caught them on the case and went it didn't really turn up and, uh, and what a screamer to start off with and Duncan Watmore to start with good play on the left there from Matt Bowler and Watmore was there to finish it top right hand corner no chance whatsoever for Robin Olsen and that was to make it 1-0 and then the second goal um, we um, Another good bit, bit of play there, a build-up play from uh, Spira and uh, Crooks and then Paddy McNair slotted in with another good finish to make it 2-0 and then um, in the second half, it's just a matter of keeping Sheffield United at bay pretty much. Um, so yeah, it was a good win all round, good atmosphere at the Riverside, it, it, even though there was 19,000 there. But um, we got a good strong away following going down to Hull um, on Saturday, I think it was about just over 3,500 tickets were sold, so great support again from the Borough Faithful. Um, we're going to this game, obviously, um, still with the uh, little injury doubts. I mean, Dyke still will probably be out for another couple of weeks. And Onel oh, Hernandez will miss this game as well. More than likely, he'll be back for the next game after the international break, which we've got coming up uh, against Peter, uh, Peterborough United. So um, it's just a matter of those two that are missing at the moment, but we've still got the likes of um, Brown to come back. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, we'll go from there, obviously. I hope that you know it keeps the same thing. I mean, what more was a surprise selection for me um, for the last game against Sheffield United because um, he hardly featured that much this season. But um, when he did, you know, obviously with what more showing up in them big moments, he produces the goods. So I, I'd, I would definitely surprise if he was dropped uh, for this, this Saturday's game. So we'll wait and see how it goes. And Saul Bamba for me, man match against Sheffield United without a doubt. I mean, for him, he had a tough time, you know, coming back from um, his diagnosis with cancer and um, for him to produce a performance like that for the full 90 minutes, he mostly kept Billy Sharp quiet and most of the other um, Sheffield United players quiet all day and his blocking on the line was sensational. I mean, for a player to come back from that and produce a performance like that, I mean, and let's just see how he goes coming this season. I mean, he could be a good asset to us, even though uh, he's on a one-year deal with us, but hopefully, fingers crossed, he could extend it for another year. You never know, it depends. Obviously, if he keeps his fitness levels up and that, etc. But apart from that, good squad to go for the game over at the MKM Stadium uh, this coming Saturday. So now we're going to our opponents, Hull City. Um, obviously, they were promoted as League One champions last season. Uh, they came straight back up after being relegated the previous season. And um, for them, uh, it, it's been seen that it was starting off well. You know, um, uh, they had that one big win uh, against away at uh, Preston North End. But after that, it's just been a bit of a downward spiral for them, hasn't it? They're currently sitting in 23rd place in the championship going into this game. The record going into it is played 10, won 1, drawn 3 and lost 6. Uh, last game out for them was a one all draw at home against uh, Blackpool. So, a bit of pressure forming on their current manager, Grant McCann. But, um, no doubt that whole city, you know, the spirit they have, even though... Still to this day, they've got problems. Still got their usual problems against the runners. I mean, most uh, they hardly ever sell out uh, most of their home games anymore. But they do bring a good away following. And um, I think it's another one of them clubs that, um, despite the struggles they have off the pitch, they do, do seem to improve. But obviously, this season has been a bit of a struggle for them. Now they do have some good players in the, in that side. Hull City, um, more notably in particular, uh, Keane Lewis Potter, um, homegrown through their academy and. For the last couple of years we've seen him, he's been really, really good for them. I mean, he can play out on the wing, can play on uh, up front. So, he'd be good, one of the players to, that we have to watch out for on Saturday. Another one as well in Malik Wilkes, who um, I will explain further more in a bit. He can cause a threat up front where, wherever possible. And, uh, like you he'd be probably give our good defenders a test. And... Um, other players they've got in there as well, they're like loan players they have in their side, like Ryan Longman, who's on loan from Brighton. He had a hell of a season last season in League One for AFC Wimbledon. Um, and he's it, it, adapting to the championship very well. I mean, for he can play alongside the midfield on the left wing, he can play as a number 10. So he can play for a variety of positions. And one notable fact for us Borough fans, who is a former Borough player, 
in the whole uh, City squad in Richard Smallwood, who's currently their centre midfielder there, but I think he's been mostly been on the bench the last couple of games due to the uh, good performances of their midfielders of uh, Greg Doherty and Andy Cannon. So, uh, like I say, he's been um, in and out of the team recently, has Richard Smallwood. So, it, it, Hull usually provide a tough test for us, but, you know, with the struggles they have at the moment, hopefully it's one of the games, you know, going into the next international break after this game, we have to win. And uh, the last time we played Hull City was obviously uh, two seasons ago now. Um, that game at, uh, at the time was called the KCOM the Stadium. Uh, but the last time we played them, um, we got beat by two goals to one. I mean, I remember British Sombolonga scoring a penalty very early on for us. And then four minutes after that, Hull City equalised through Herbie Kane. Uh, I think it was a free kick and that one it was. And then Malik Wilkes um, equalised... Um, won it for Hull actually in the uh, 90th minute so I think the last 17 meetings we played um, Hull I think we've only won 8 games they've won 3 and they've won about 6 and they've drawn the last 3 so um, it's usually a tight record we have against Hull City but I hope you know like I said going into the next international break after this game we um, hope you get the 3 points to help uh, build up our momentum um, going into the, the midpoint in the midway point now of the season. Anyway, anyway, Borough fans, let me know your thoughts and predictions for the game in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Our social media links will be in the description below. And until then, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV and I will see you on the next preview video, which will be for the game on October the 16th after the international break as the Borough welcome another newly promoted side in Peterborough United at the Riverside. Until then, Borough fans, take care, stay safe and up the borough.